That's deep, man. So I can understand the young black male in America being confused and being messed up in the head with no knowledge of what it is to be university or what it is to know what he got to do each and every day. Right. Okay. Let me ask you this, because from, you know, let's I want to briefly touch on like your life, because I know you said you you was in the you was in the uh, in the feds from 83 to 91. From 83 to 91 and from 91 up into 2015. And I finally got free in 2015 because I won't comply. So let me ask you this. Well, no, as a matter of fact. You don't even you don't even have to go into you don't even have to go into detail about what landed you in the feds. Were were you sentenced under harsh sentencing guidelines like those old racist um, sentencing you guidelines? You racist in the uh, in the penitentiary. Okay. White sit on one side, black sit on side. A lot of foreigners that go to the white side, a lot of foreigners that come to the black side. But as a whole, in the army, in the penitentiary. Even in high school, blacks have a section that they sit in and whites have a section they sit in. It's in the school. Right. Some will sit with one another, but for some reason or other, the white boy just don't want to be bothered with the black boy and the black boy still want to be bothered with the white boy. And right today in 2023, blacks are on the bottom. They have nothing. Right, right. So let's let's talk about let's talk about that for a little bit. As far as you you said we're we're lost today. Um, as for somebody like me who kind of studies history, what from what I know, I would say the war on drugs, which kind of runs concurrent with gangs hitting you know hitting our communities and stuff like that. Do you think the war on drugs is what ruined like this version of the black family? Because I'm I'm gonna put it into a little perspective too. I'm 33, so I'm born in 90. So the war on drugs, I feel like, is the reason why a lot of men my age, while our daddies wasn't in the house, because, you know, a lot of them were, were caught up in the, the war on drugs just by being in the streets. Because this is when they slamming people for crack cocaine versus coke, which is crack is just a cooked version of coke. But... You know, if I'm if I'm if I get caught with coke, I might get two, three years. You get caught with that same amount of crack. You get 25. Like, do you think that contributed to why, like, as far as my generation and ultimately the generation under me, like why the fathers aren't in the home? Do you think that's why? Drugs started with Superfly. OK, when Superfly come with the drugs. And went to having Cadillacs in pretty clothes. Every state, brothers went to grabbing drugs. We didn't even know selling drugs was against the law. That's how ignorant we were. These agitators courts of states, we didn't know what this game was about, the drug game. We knew that it gave us a whole lot of money. Right. Then all of a sudden, the federal penitentiary and the state penitentiary, two different penitentiaries, White collar crime is the federal penitentiary. Ain't nobody committing no white collar crimes. So now everybody's selling dope. So feds start locking up everybody for selling dope. When Nixon was president, Nixon told the FBI agent and the drug agent to arrest them Italians, leave them niggas alone, let them niggas sell that dope, let them niggas have some money. This was in the 70s. So from the 70s up until the 80s when parole started DEA, we sold dope and didn't have to even worry about being bothered because Nixon wouldn't get a drug, people's no money to come and arrest us because Nixon said, let them niggas sell dope, let them have some money. So we had money during the drug area. A lot of Square Brothers sold drugs. They didn't know it was against the law. They didn't know it was going to the penitentiary. But when the Fed picked it up, the DEA started the drug enforcement. It wasn't no drug enforcement when we were selling dope. The drug, the DEA didn't come in and affect until parole started the DEA. So it was legal like for us blacks to sell drugs. And I always said, which one is the worst? Y'all ancestors sold us. 
We're selling dope to where we don't have to be bothered with y'all because if we sell some dope, that's an economy. Dope was an economy for black. That was, oh, yeah, I, sure. that was my independent to tell this white boy, I don't need you. I can own my own business and things like that.